Welcome to my get ready with me for a Mendy party. So here I'm using my Garnier primer just to mattify and help my foundation last longer. Next I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer to cover up any blemishes I've got. I've got quite a few here so <laughs> just using it pretty much all over my face. <laughs> and then Next I'll be using my sample that I've got of a YSL Radiance Foundation. It's pretty much a good match to my skin. And I'm using my Beauty Blender which I got from the Birch Box. And just dabbing that all over to try and blend it in make it look as natural as possible. And here we've... I'm just going over any little areas that I still showing through in terms of hyperpigmentation with my MAC Studio Fix Concealer and then I'm using my Bella Pierre Shimmering Pigment for a highlight I sh mentioned this in my April Favourites video it's really nice really shiny and shimmery but it still looks natural it doesn't look over the top I think anyway I'm just using that on my cheekbones and I use a tiny bit on my Cupid's bow. And then here I'm using the gold Maybelline 24 hour colour tattoo. It's a really great base, especially because I'm going to be using some gold eyeshadows from my Stila palette. I'm using the main gold colour from the palette on all over my lid and the Stila kitten in the inner corners. Just packing it all on with the flat shader brush just to make sure it just stays and stays put all night long. And it's really shiny and shimmery. Perfect for a uh, Mendy party. And I thought I'd go for a natural look. As in, not natural because gold's not really natural, but using neutral colours for this party instead of going for a bright magenta -y pink, which is the same as what my outfit was. I'm just putting Steeler Kitten in the inner corner there as well. Now I'm using the matte brown shade from the Steeler palette in my um, crease area just to blend it all out, make it look a bit more natural. No harsh edges from the gold tattoo shadow and the Steeler eyeshadows as well. I'm just adding a tiny bit more. Um, by patting on the eyelids just to intensify the colour a bit more with the eyeshadows. Now I'm using my number seven, number seven eye curler, trying to keep it there as long as possible to try and hold the curl up. So when I use my number seven exceptional definition eye, uh, what's it called? Eyelashes? No. Um, mascara to help define my eyebrows eyebrows eyelashes <laughs> can't even speak properly today and then I'm going to go over with my waterproof Maybelline colossal mascara and it's waterproof and hopefully it will last well it did last long or it lasted all night long just to give my lashes a bit more length and intensity I suppose hmm. now I'm using my Maybelline gel eyeliner in the brown colour and just winging out the eyeliner going all around lining the upper lid as well as the lower lash line lower lash line and the lower water line on both eyes I, d I thought I'd go for a brown instead of a black to give it a bit more of a smoky natural look neutral natural and then from my H&M palette using the darkest brown which is a matte also just to go over that and intensify the neutral shadowy and smoky look. It's a great palette I think. Not bad. 32 colours. <laughs> and then here I'm just going over my face and sort of contouring with my loose powder from Body Shop. It's a bit darker than my skin colour so I thought I'd just 
use it as a contour. Here I'm using my Bare Minerals powder foundation in medium tan just to go over all the other areas as I want to help make sure my makeup lasts all night and then going over the cheekbones again with the shimmering pigment. Here I'm using my Revlon Lip Butter in Raspberry Pi as a base and then going over it with the Apocalypse Lip Black and Galaxy just to intensify the colour and there's my finished look. Hope you enjoyed.